Let's take a look at the security options that are new in Windows Server 2022. I'm going to go down to the Start menu and go to Settings. And once in Settings, I'm going to click on Update and Security. I have the option to run some updates, but what I want to do here is focus on Windows Security on the left-hand side. Now, you can see that the areas of protection are virus and threat, firewall, app and browser control, as well as device security. And it gives you a little bit of a high overview. And you can see two of these areas, I'm not 100% protected. And this is the way it is by default when you first install Server 2022. So I'm going to click on Open Windows Security. So even though we're in security, it doesn't mean that we're actually in the Windows Security application. So I'll open that up and it gives us a deeper view here. So what we can do, for instance, we can see that tamper protection is turned off, and what that does is if you turn it on is it keeps any third-party applications from making any changes to your security settings at all. If you don't have that turned on, then it's possible that they can't. So if you're putting in an anti-malware solution, you'll want to have this turned off. Otherwise, they won't be able to make any changes. But if you're using Windows Defender, you want to turn it on. Then we have firewall and network protection. By default, you can see that that is up and running. If I click on that, we can see the firewall is on. If I go back to app and browser control, this is turned off currently. And what this does is it allows us to block unwanted apps. I'm going to turn that one on. And then I'm going to click on it. And this opens up two additional protection settings. One is reputation-based protection. So if I click on that one, we can see the check apps and files. So all applications now have a rating, as far as Microsoft goes, as to whether or not they're trustworthy. So it's going to look at that rating and decide whether or not it's going to allow it. Now, we also have this option here for potentially unwanted app blocking, which is turned on. And you can choose to block apps or block downloads. And you can also look at the history of anything that might have happened. So I'm going to go back and just take a look here. It says under the potentially unwanted app blocking, this is for low reputation apps that might cause unexpected behaviors. So that means anything that may have a history of causing problems with possible viruses and malware. Then we have at the top here, the smart screen uh, helps protect your device. Now, in this area, you don't have the option to make any changes to override smart screen. However, if you go into local group policy, you will see options to allow certain apps to go through even if this is turned on. Now we have exploit protection settings. I'll click on that as well. And by default, you see Control Flow Guard is automatically turned on, which was introduced in the last version of Windows Server and Windows 10. And this is a good idea to leave that on. And it's something that's going to happen in the background. That's something you're going to notice yourself. Uh, so if you're, if you're having issues installing any applications, you know those applications uh, should be trusted, then you can try turning this off and seeing if it works, because in some cases it may cause issues. Data execution prevention, this is when you plug in a USB stick or you plug in uh, a DVD. If you do that, um, by default, a lot of times they're going to want to run an executable as soon as they get plugged in. And this keeps that from happening. It doesn't mean that it's going to be a virus just because they want to launch, but uh, it could be. So it's a good idea to decide manually to launch those applications by double-clicking on them. Then we have force randomization for images. And what this does is it tries to evade t attackers by randomizing where the images will be in memory. So the address space layout randomization is what ASLR stands for. And then we have the same kind of technology for randomizing virtual memory allocations, uh, which definitely can help you in any kind of an attack. Then we have high entropy ASLR. Validate exception and validate heap integrity. And by default, all these are on. They're just there to evade any type of malware. But if you do have problems, once again, with installing an application, I would definitely go back to these settings and I would make sure that you try turning them off just to see if it works. Now we have the same kind of thing for program settings. So we click on program settings and we see options for all the different executables that you can see in here. So for instance, I'll take the first one here and click on that and click edit. This is ext export.exe. And this allows you to do 
some of those same things that you saw in system settings to be able to, sort of, for instance, control flow guard, data execution prevention. Uh, so you can see that by default it's on, but here you can say, you know what, I don't mind uh, DEP running here, so I'll just go ahead and turn that off. And then you can click apply. Now each one of these executables, you know, some of them are going to be system run. I have not installed any, uh, any applications yet, so some of these may not make a lot of sense. But here's uh, Internet Explorer. Dot exe and you can see you have the same options here so if you have problems with any of these executables come right back here and uh, try turning them off or making other changes to it and this last section I'd like to show you is protection history so if I click on that then you can see uh, all these different protection actions and recommendations at this point it says I'm really protected with the exception of tamper protection is off so if I turn that on then I'll have zero uh, things that I may need to change in order to make sure I have the best security I'm going to show you all about tamper protection in another video but I just wanted to do an overview of Windows security and the changes of Windows security in Windows Server 2022